This is just a short addendum to my video on Warrior God to Warrior David, where I explained, I thought with a lot of verses, the proof that in no way, shape, or form can you say that God was punishing or censuring David by telling him he wouldn't he wasn't to build the temple. His own son Solomon said in 1 Kings 5 3 that David didn't have the time. He was unable. And that bothered him. So God awarded the temple to his own son. I thought I explained that well enough with the story, but there you go. Now, in the comments of that video, I put a lot more information and in verses because the question was asked, well, that's the Old Testament. There's nothing in the New Testament like it. And, of course, the obvious fact that the God of the Old Testament is the same God who took on humanity and paid for our sins. Well, you know, I guess that doesn't matter. See, God is consistent. If he says something in Genesis, then he's going to follow it through to Revelation. And if there's some kind of change, like a change in the covenant, then he's going to explain what that change is. Like Hebrews 7 explains, we don't observe the Mosaic Law anymore. And explains pretty in detail why. So if all of a sudden the warrior God who awarded David three thousand year time grants without which Messiah would not have been able to be born and you and I would not exist. The same God who awarded David that and awarded him the temple as it says in 2 Samuel 7 that same God is not going to change his mind now. Now unfortunately I, wait a minute Unfortunately, when you have, I mean, it's kind of illustrative of this problem about war. You war with somebody or you walk away when you have done everything you can to get the point across and they still won't listen. The verse in front of you is exactly that situation. And there was a little dispute that went on in the comments to my warrior David, warrior king God, to warrior David, telling, saying very clearly that the temple in 2 Samuel 7 was an award to David, not a censure that he couldn't build it. And then the argument was, okay, but all that violence is not true in the New Testament, as if God were different. And I was challenged to provide verses, which I did. And one of them was the verse you see in front of you. It was, it was in context of verse 26. I'm going to have to lose this for a minute, but you've seen it for a while. I'll come back to it. Oops, sorry. Like the guy who challenged me, you don't probably read Greek. If you did read Greek, you would never raise a challenge about this verse, as you're going to see. But I'm having trouble with my mouse. Okay. All right. See? Buy a sword. Here's the context. Buy a sword. Anyone, whoever, whoever, whoever. Buy, buy one. Buy one. Buy a sword. And in answer they said, Oh, there are two swords. And he said, It is enough. In English, that has... Actually, there is a use... There is an English idiom for it. But if you want to make a lie out of the Old Testament, then you can manufacture and hallucinate your own meaning out of this. Now watch how the Bible proves itself better than that hallucination. 
Honest to Pete, I'm, I'm sick of people who don't do their homework. Believe what you want, but if you're going to challenge me, honey, you do your homework or I'm going to ream you out. Otherwise, you know, if you don't want to get reamed out, then do your homework. Believe whatever you want. You can believe the moon is made of green cheese. If you've done your homework, I won't, I won't criticize you for that. But I will criticize you for making a mockery of the Bible. Here's how the mockery is made. That word highlighted in blue is translated enough in English. They're shown in the New American Standard Version. Nobody gets away with challenging me on what the Bible says if they haven't done their homework. Okay, this is Thayer's lexicon. It is one of the most famous lexicons that pastors and other people in scholarship use. BDAG is a little bit higher, but BDAG doesn't go into the etymology like Thayer does. You can get Thayer for free on the internet. You can look it up on the internet. So look up this entry, Echinos. I'm saying it wrong because I'm thinking of the other Echinos. It's Ikanos or Ikanos. Okay, it, it really should be, this should be stressed first. Not this, the accent's in the wrong place. Okay. All right. This is the phrase you're seeing in the top screen. This is Thayer. This is not brain out talking. Okay, I knew it for other reasons because it's a Jewish expression and I was raised with it. In Yiddish, they usually say, enough already. And that's exactly what this phrase means. We have the same expression in English. Enough! Basta! Stop! Yeah, well, that's what the Lord is saying. And here's Thayer, highlighted in blue below, telling you that's what he says. I'm going to read it aloud in case you're doing the dishes or something. Ikanonesten. It is enough. Equivalent to enough has been said on the subject. Luke 22, 38, that's our passage. For Jesus, saddened at the paltry ideas of the disciples, breaks off in this way the conversation. It doesn't have squat to do with the swords being enough or not. He's tired of them. They're not getting the point. Now, in the next phrase, the Jews, he, he, now he's explaining etymology. This is what's good about theirs. The Jews, when a companion uttered anything absurd, like, oh, it is enough means two swords are enough. Yeah. The Jews, when a companion uttered anything absurd, were accustomed to use the phrase, and I'll read it to you, Rav Lachim. Let it suffice, thee is not it. it. It really means enough, enough of that. Enough of that. We have the same phrase in English. In fact, we got it from the Hebrews. The Greeks got it from the Hebrews, and so did we. Enough! There's not a language on this planet today that doesn't have that expression. Enough! Basta! Finish! Finito! That's what this phrase, ekainon, ikanon, ikanoneshtin, that's what it means. It doesn't mean that the two swords are enough. You have to be flat stupid about language to think that. Because see this word, ikanon? See? Look. Adjective, normal, nominative, what? Neuter. Singular. Fundamental rule of grammar is that an adjective has to modify in gender and number the thing it's modifying. So if ikanon referred to swords, well, what is swords? Right here, makairas, makaira. It's feminine, plural, common. Plural, feminine. This is neither plural nor feminine. So it cannot refer to swords. So, it is enough. Oh, yeah, it's enough. That two swords, oh, yeah, that's enough. Huh? No, honey. 
Learn to read the Bible or don't talk about it. Do not malign scripture by claiming that this verse is taught is the Lord is suddenly a pacifist when he is the guy who ordered the destruction of every man, woman, child, and animal in Ai when Joshua went into the land. His name is Adonai Tzabaot, and it means Lord of the Armies. That Lord took on humanity and paid for our sins. That one, Echinos. It's a different spelling, and it means that one. Like when you're pointing at somebody. Kind of rude. It's a rude expression in Greek, too. Ikanon. Basta! Enough already! Now, in the comments to my Warrior God King David video, in the first part of it, I listed all of the occurrences of that phrase in the Bible. I listed all the occurrences of this word in all of its cases in the Bible. Because with Bible works, and I'm using five still because I haven't uploaded nine yet on my other computer. I listed all the instances and all the cases of that in the Bible because in Bible Works you can search the whole thing in five minutes. Now I'm sorry, I'm not a scholar. I don't have to be a scholar when I got a scholarly work like this. But there is a scholar, namely Thayer, one of the better known lexicons around that everybody uses and has been using because this is like a century old now who made it really clear so then everybody must have known because it's been around for a hundred years and it has never been disputed something I knew as a kid because it's a Yiddishism enough enough already that's what the highlighted blue at the top of the screen means basta it does not refer to swords it means shut up and I think that's what I'm going to do now you got any more questions? Look at the comment section in my Warrior Guide to Warrior David first video where I put in all the, the citations in the Bible so that you can check the usage yourself and know that brain out isn't making it up. And uh, you got any more questions, ask me. But if you want to argue this thing about does the Bible say that you know war is important, honey, that's like 50% of the Bible text. And I'm sorry for you if, if you want to dispute that, because your disputation's not with me. It's with God. Peace out.